Today I'm working on a 2015 Volkswagen GTI. I just want to make a quick video talking about something. The coolant on this, as you can see, the top of the reservoir is, uh, is full of oil. It has an oil film to it. So to me, the quickest way is, I mean, there's other ways of doing this, but the quickest way to kind of determine whether this is motor oil or trans fluid, because it could be either one, um, being that there's a trans cooler that sits on top of the, uh, on top of the transmission underneath the battery tray and there is a uh, oil cooler that bolts between the oil filter housing and the water pump. And um, there's also a gasket called the oil filter housing gasket that can kind of, the uh, coolant can enter the cooling, the, the oil um, system through there too. So what I like to do is typically transmission fluid smells real strong. So you can kind of open the cap and um, if you just stick your face in there, you can smell what trans fluid smells like and it's very strong. Um, you can see it has a whole, it has a film right there of oil. This has basically no odor at all other than the coolant smell, so it's uh, motor oil. And I'll show you what to look for on these. It's also very underneath common. a lot of times it'll look like the oil pan gasket's leaking because the oil will kind of follow the edge of the oil pan. But if you look up here past the AC compressor and you see a bunch of oil like this up around, up around there, it's always around there off that front edge it's likely going to be your oil filter housing gasket that's leaking. So what I like to do is replace the, pull, you pull the AC compressor, you pull the alternator, and you um, replace the oil filter housing gasket as well as the oil cooler gasket. This one's super contaminated, so I'm likely going to replace the oil, oil cooler altogether, replace the oil filter housing gasket, and then flush the system. So that's it. Something to look for. Thanks for watching.